So I'm joined by Aswin Shekhar from Armour Observatory, who is presenting his results today on the way in which Comet Halley, a well-known well -known comet, orbits Jupiter in such a way that it could influence the amount of meteors that we might experience here on planet Earth. So Aswin, can you tell us a little bit about your research and sort of how often these enhanced meteor showers might occur? So my research is mainly about how the periodic gravitational effects from Jupiter can constrain or correct the orbits of Comet Halley itself and the uh, particles outgas from Halley, which essentially becomes the Orionid stream and, the, and produces the Orionid meteor shower. So, so that's the main point of our research. So th the, whole, the whole idea is when you have these periodic effects from Jupiter, the, the comet gets trapped in something called a resonance, and that would actually enhance the chances for meteoroid particles getting trapped in resonance, and that would cluster, cluster in space, and uh, rather than getting spread along the whole orbit, which would give enhanced meteorites in some particular years. So, so that's the key point in our research. And have you been able to correlate these enhanced meteor showers with historical events that people have made uh, reported observations of? Oh yes, yeah. So, so that's the success of the theoretical modeling. So all our computer simulations and orbital integrations seems to uh, perfectly match with the historical observations. So we see that we could really match the Orionid outburst in 1993, and there are also some hints of enhanced activity in 1839 and 1916, so even that is matched by this model. So for, for the future, we would sort of expect a similar activity in 2070. I'm afraid it's a long time after now, but, but we do expect uh, such an enhanced spectacular shower. And there were also s some spectacular activity between 2006 and 2010 that can also be correlated with our present modeling. So, so that's the success of the models. And how does the comet sort of change from one resonance to another? Yeah, so, so there are various gravitational effects from different planets and different bodies in the solar system. So, the, so these random perturbations can actually disturb the comet and the comet can actually change its orbital period and it, it will go out of resonance. And after some time, again, it would enter into some other resonance, which is again due to the periodic effects from Jupiter, and populate meteoroids in that particular resonance, which would again help to have more spectacular showers in some particular years. So, so that's the way it works. So uh, NAM 2070 is going to be the uh, oh, yeah. astronomy <laughs> meeting to come to. Yeah, if, if everything works fine, uh, I'll be happy that my models work perfectly <laughs> fine. <laughs>